I, I got this idea that I could, um, you know, change the uh, decals on the bike. So I talked to Mike, where I bought the bike, over at Utah Mountain Biking and, in Lehigh, and uh, he gave me the name of um, the local Rocky Mountain rep that he works with, who was able to hook me up with the vector files. So if anyone needs them for a Rocky Mountain altitude, let me know, I can get them to you. Um, so he sent me those vector files. I sent them over to Alpha Graphics and asked them how much it would be and um, they worked up a bid. It came out to be like 117 bucks or something. But then I talked to my friend who works uh, for Cricut and he had one of those maker machines. So he loaned that to me and I kind of looked up how to use it. That orange looks sick on this one. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, this is Eric with Ride Labs, and today we are working on the new bike, getting it all set up with the um, color way that I want. It started off with a purple and black. Of course, I'm leaving the paint, but the uh, red for the logo for the Rocky Mountain and for the altitude and for the maple leaf. And I'm going to switch that out to orange to kind of match the components I have. Tell me what you think at the bottom. Click the subscribe button and follow along because I'm gonna next after this video show you as I apply the all mountain style frame guard protection and then as I get the grips on and figure out the suspension and get some new tires on and everything and uh, hopefully by then my shoulder will be better and we can go ride it. So here we go. I think it looks pretty cool though. <laughs> Trenton, the orange looks pretty cool. That looks so sick. But don't you think that looks better than the red? Yeah. It brightens the bike up a lot. So what do you think compared to the new colors? Which is better? That's the old one. And then the new one. Tell me what you think in the comments. Okay, so I just got this idea since I had orange stem and C-clamp and pedals and um, valve stems. It turned out to cost me like four bucks for the vinyl, five bucks for a knife, and <laughs> that's it. So I'm super stoked on it. Um, came out good. 
There are mistakes in there. I won't show you. 